My name is David Thomas. I'm the deputy head here at Ascol Maisavelli. My experience with working with Achieve More to having sporting um, experiences has again been really positive. Some of our staff are not always keen on PE, so to have people who come in with enthusiasm and skills already has helped them as teachers and other support staff um, grow as individuals. The children are getting the experiences of somebody who's got the enthusiasm in PE, so that again encourages them to in, um, join in, so we've had again very positive experiences. My name is Natalie Jones McNeil. My role is sports coach and teaching assistant. I'm placed at your school, Yolan, Whitford. I encourage the young people to take part in different types of sports, including disability sports like Bosha, um, football, netball, basketball, tennis, cricket. Um, this encourages them to participate, be more mo motivational. It has a good social impact. The highlights and the impact that I've seen working with the children is that they've become more positive, they're working better as a team, and they're settling down back in classes, and they focus more, and they participate within the sports. Some of the kids in my classroom, um, a lot of them are a little bit shy and reserved, so with the physical literacy activities, we really try to get them to come out of their shell, doing different activities maybe a little bit out of their comfort zone, but it gets them interacting, it gets them enjoying it. Having the mental guidance has really been positive. Um, the staff have been able to refer to it and go through the process, which helps us implement it into classroom practice. I'm Ben Lockley, I'm 19 and I'm a sports apprentice at Oscar Lescott Morgan. There are many benefits to the sports apprenticeship. Uh, for myself, it's the career progression, so I could go down. There's many opportunities now, doorways are open, and it also helps develop children in sports and I feel like that's a good personal note to have on my CV because I would love to just develop children in sports, especially in the current Conway area and Denbyshire area as there's not many opportunities for children. The activities in the school that we've been doing is things along the lines of the Daily Mile, which is to get their children more active. I've been completing after school clubs, uh, so that's football, cricket and just multi-ball games. We have been completing sports and PE lessons as well as tapping into the main principles of sports and also along lunchtime, uh, lunchtime clubs. Again, that's just multiple sports, just doing a lot of things to get children being active. Since starting in the school, I feel I've had an impact on increased participation. I've taken on the role of taking a girls' football team, so we've played in little tournaments, we've had friendlies against other schools, and from there, those girls have then gone on to move to clubs around the local area, so there's been an increase in girls in football. By having a sports apprentice, we've been able to include him in the roles shadowing our staff, sort of moulding them into a future member of staff. So sharing the responsibilities that they'd have as a member of staff, um, running sessions at, in schools, so breakfast clubs, lunchtime after school. He's also been supporting our um, alternate provision and PPA programme in schools and working on our community engagement programme in the evenings. Recommending an apprenticeship over and over again to most people i met because I School, going to university wasn't the pathway for me. This was a lot better and I enjoyed this a lot more than I did at school. 